Hey everybody, it's Fat Frog, and today in Ark Survival Evolved, I thought we would take a look at the Harpoon Launcher, or the Harpoon Gun if you prefer. So let's take a quick look at what it takes to craft one, and uh, then we'll try it out above land and below the sea. So, uh, we've already learned the Ingram, which I believe is deemed to be level 43, um, and the resources that you're going to need, 60 cementing paste, 60 fiber, 25 hide, 120 metal ingots, quite a lot, 50 obsidian, plenty of that too. Polymer is 30, um, and wood is 40, so it's fairly expensive, and it's going to fire the... Uh, spear bolt right over here which also has taken 14 metal for each one it's quite a lot and then uh, the uh, tranquilizing spear bolt which is going to take one spear bolt plus one tranquilizer dart so this stuff isn't all that cheap um, especially to start out with with the uh, with the harpoon launcher here we're going to take it up here just to see what it does above the water and it doesn't do very well so let's compare it to the crossbow also so we're going to put uh the net out of here and put that into the launcher Oop, there we go so we'll put that in there it's got a pretty cool animation and then we'll fire for a body shot so it's doing 80 in the body on the training dummy here above the water it will do below better below and then 240 to the head now we can pick these up just like you can arrows uh, and spears, which is really awesome considering how expensive they are. So let's put that down. So we've got a regular old primitive crossbow, which is doing 95 um, to the body and 285 to the head. So much better for the resources to use uh, the crossbow versus the harpoon launcher. So let's go take it underwater and see what we can do. All right, so we've got ourselves in the water here. We've got a Megalodon. Okay, no big deal. Let's see what our Harpoon Launcher can do over there. Oh, there's a lead. All right, so we're going to get within range here. And let's see if we can hit it. Look at that travel time. It's slow as an arrow. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we did 277 underwater, though. That's quite different. All right, let's try with our crossbow. So 95. That was our primitive. And then we've got our regular one down here. Okay, so let's get our harpoon launcher going again. There we go. Megalodon down. So let's see if we can get these uh, spears back. That would be really nice. Got three of them. And some more maybe? Well, that's just an arrow. I don't necessarily need that back. Okay. So that's toast. So much better damage below water than above. So let's go see if we can find something else to harass. Okay, we've got another Megalodon up ahead, and another leads for that matter. And so we're going to see what this Tranquilizer Dart does. Now it's only, or Spear Bolt, it's only a level 20, so I would think it would go sleepy time very quickly. So there we go. All right, we hit it with an 80. Down two. All right, there's three. These are pretty expensive. Four. Oh my gosh, five, six. Okay, now it's on the run. I suppose I could have waited a lot, little while to see if it was torpor was taking effect. That I did not do. So we'll just give it a second to see if it's going to fall asleep here. But it does not appear to be. It appears to be wedged in the rocks, right? Let's grab our little magnifying glass here and see. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. It is not asleep, right? Megalodon. Yeah, all right. Well, let's fire another bolt into this thing then. So now it is unconscious, right? Yeah. Can we get our bolts back? We got one back. Man, that was a lot though for, for a freaking level 20. So not very effective there. I have no need for this thing, so I'm just going to swim away from it. So that's the uh, that's the harpoon launcher as far as a defensive and a tranquilizing weapon. Let's go check it out with the net gun. 
All right, the net projectile works on a wide variety of creatures like... Oops, I missed this current. Oh, do this. Ah, geez, what the heck hit me? So it works on those guys. Oh, <laughs> I did hit this uh, Yutteranus here. Oh, here's another one. Oops, missed. But yeah, it works on a bunch of crazy creatures. Uh, it's absolutely ridiculous that it takes out things that are that big. Uh, let's take another look at a few other creatures. All right, let's check this thing if it works on a Megalodon. It sure does. So it does even work underwater, which is pretty nice. I got a nice one stuck over there, too. And lastly, let's check the old mammoth here. Yep, mammoth is down, and it PO'd the other mammoth, of course, which is... I just missed. Oh, okay, so he's all buffed up, and I guess it doesn't work on him while he's all buffed up. Um, there is a 30 second, uh, he does get uh, wrapped up for a minute, and then, wow, <laughs> ouch. <laughs> anyway, the net wraps everybody up for a minute, and um, once they break free of the net, there's like a 30 second cooldown until you can shoot him again. And so when you can shoot him again, your crosshair will go from yellow to green, and then you're good to go. So the net gun is, or the net projectile, I guess, as it's officially called, is super helpful, but it almost also seems a little cheaty. Here this guy is. He's, I don't know if he's PO'd or not. Let's, uh, he sure is. I'm going to try to go down here and avoid him. Uh, yeah, so there's a 30-second cooldown where I can't shoot the guy. Uh, and, uh, yeah, let me know if you think it's, uh, if it's kind of a cheaty kind of a thing or what you think. Oh, boy, I hope I don't get killed down in the comments section so i hope you enjoyed this one if you have please give it a thumbs up see i'm still yellow and subscribe to the channel